Report, young Reuben. My report is very clear. We are in danger. Danger? Jesus, the self-proclaimed prophet, has turned Solomon's temple into the grand amphitheater of Jerusalem. Even the Romans could never hope to match this kind of circus. <laughs> Reuben, please make your point. Excellency Gamaliel has no time for circuitous humor. Very well. Two days ago, Jesus of Nazareth, stepson of Joseph the Carpenter, before many people cured a deaf mute. They say also that he publicly freed the infamous Magdalene of her demons. Today, he healed a hunchback woman, and make no mistake, he will indeed create new miracles in new places. I see. Yes. And what will the Sanhedrin Council do then? Perhaps we should tell people the promised Messiah has appeared. There's no need to exaggerate. Exaggerate? Do you think I'm exaggerating? You can be sure the patience of the members of the Sanhedrin will come to an end sooner or later. Ignoring him would cause rebellion and unrest all over Judea. Excellency, why are you silent? Everyone knows you to be a moderate man, even if everything is in turmoil. And no doubt, moderation is the path you will follow. But you mark my words on this occasion. Finish it once and for all. Honorable Kaifa, as you know, I've always wanted the best for you and the members of the Sanhedrin. That is why I say to you now, animosity towards this man will prove useless. And if he is telling the truth, if we place ourselves against him, we have then fought God unknowingly. And if his claim is false, it will be exposed and you will have lost nothing. History shows the passage of time will always reveal the truth, be it in the hands of God. Now leave him alone. But he has mesmerized the people with his satanic sorcery. He has called our Pharisee brothers hypocrites, and he has called Solomon's temple a place of thieves. He must be punished. I understand. I have a suggestion. A manner in which to confront him. Ask for help from the Romans. Ask the Romans? Have you gone mad? Have you any idea what the people will say about us? He is the son of Mary. Ah yes, I too have heard the story of her conception by the Holy Spirit. There have always been rumors and doubt about Jesus, from the day he was born. Excellency, he's not just a deluded preacher. The story of Jesus is far more complicated. Don't you know what he intends? He wants to have a kingdom and become a king. Gentlemen, gentlemen, let's be reasonable. What kingdom is there? All right, Excellency Gamaliel. And what happens if people choose him as their king? What happens then? Gentlemen, we all know that the plot to make Jesus a king originates from abroad. The old-timers of the Great Sanhedrin remember when the three Magi came to the court of Herod the Great from Persia. They gave him the glad tidings of the birth of a child in this land, who would become the king of the Jews. Why did the army of Herod go forth and kill every infant? Well, if the people want to consider Jesus the manifestation of that rumor, then so be it. You mustn't show them any. You're going to be crucified. Zealot. The 
Your cross is ready. But where? I don't see it anywhere. Fear not. I'll take you to Golgotha with the utmost respect. You want to send us to the gallows? I'm not afraid of crucifixion. God will take revenge on you and all the Romans. <laughs> How will he do that, Zealot? By his promised prophet. Ha! See if he saves you. When you're staggering, under the weight of the cross you'll be carrying. We'll see then. You're wrong, infidel. You'll find I don't die so easily. Bring him. Rufus, the thought of your crippled daughter has broken you down. I'll take this prisoner to Golgotha, and I want you to organize the regiment. When I return, I'd like to see you much improved. All right. Yes. Lentos. Hmm? May I take leave for a few days? Yes, certainly. Uh, she isn't doing well. I think I might be able to find her a good doctor. I understand. But be careful, Rufus. There are fanatics around Jerusalem causing a lot of trouble. All right. It is not good to break weak opponents. Your devotion to your cause is admirable. Ah, but for how long? Until the coming of the Savior. Our Savior will triumph. Take him away. Zealots have been known to ambush in the alleys. Do not be diverted by arguments with hooligans or laymen. Even if they insult the Roman gods, you are to show no reaction. If the prisoner escapes, I'll be skinned alive. But before that, I will skin all of you. Now let's go! Abbas, the Romans have entered Jerusalem by the Old Gate. What is your order? If it weren't for your cowardice, Jude wouldn't be under the cross right now. Do you understand? Me, a coward. Barabbas, it's easy, do you think, to kill a Roman. He was as big and wide as Mount Zion. They're taking a zealot to Golgotha today. Do you know why? Do you? Because none of you have the courage to confront the Romans. When there is Jesus, why should we fight without his permission? You all go. Joseph, you have to stop talking nonsense. The morale of the men is weakened by your superstition. If you miss the Nazarene so much, then you can join him. Hmm? Why wait? We're all men of action. Hey. Yes, Chief. Keep an eye on him. Don't let anyone into the Zealot's circle. Yes, Barabbas. That Galilean prophet has set a trap for all the youths of Jerusalem. Listen. You must make sure to remain absolutely calm. They're using rocks thrown in slings. We'll surely be ambushed in the alleys. You shouldn't worry too much. You have fully armed soldiers. But we will not engage them. We're only going to Golgotha. That's it. And if they attack, take shelter. You may use your shields, but whatever you do, 
You mustn't arouse the fanatic one. Taking Jerusalem. It was a mistake right from the beginning. If we're careful, it should be fine. People we just have Judea. to be careful. People of Jerusalem, listen closely. Rome is talking to you. Let's go! Don't close the door to your house. What's the matter with you? What are you afraid of? This man here now faces the justice of Rome because he insulted it. Let this be a lesson to everybody. As a young man, he cut down the Empire's flags with their eagle design. And he has killed some Roman civilians. Recently, he attacked a Roman legionnaire. He has also told you that the promised day will arrive. He has told you that the mythical prophet, who on the promised day will destroy Rome, this is nothing but lies. A long list of charges against this man are murder, revolt, rebellion, and treason. Citizens of Jerusalem, Rome has something to put to the people of Jerusalem. A question. Damn you! Damn, Damn you! Damn go you. to hell! Damn you! This is an people of the city, I ask this question. What punishment does this ingrate man deserve? Tell me what you think of his revolt. Fear God. When the Messiah, the promised savior comes, he will carry out his verdict against Rome. These past years, I have caught and crucified the same number of false messiahs. As you have long hairs on your beards, this promised Messiah is nothing but a lie. People, listen to me. This promised Messiah, the prophet of Apocalypse, he won't appear as long as we do nothing. We must act. God alone is not enough. Nor is man alone enough. I am the tongue of the emperor in Jerusalem. Now the gods, the Empire, and General Pilate have given their verdict on this case, and that is the end of it! Soldiers, to Golgotha, through the city, march! Rome at last will wage a war against these zealots. And I hope Jerusalem burns in it. <laughs> Believe it or not, their new prophet has predicted that. Even until yesterday, you zealots laughed at the teachings of John. And if Moses himself were to return, you would laugh at him as well. Move ahead with caution. You are misled. And yet, you wish to lead your people. Shieldman! Andrew, I do not believe in this false messiah. But when the true one appears, it will be my honor to dress him in the royal robes fit for a messiah and the crown will shine upon his head. These rocks are a pointless attack. Why is that? They're doing no harm. On the contrary, it's scaring them and humiliating them. Our stones are blessed. And when did anything here become blessed? Since the day God killed Goliath with the sling of David. These stones will destroy the evil Romans' brain. They are but little stones. Not enough to scare a Roman. Stone them all! 
My brothers, you will triumph! Young people of Jerusalem, remember David who killed Goliath with the stones of this land. People of Jerusalem, go ahead and fight, and do not fear their swords and shields. Stone them! I said that I would not die and a savior would come. Watch this miracle I told you of. Don't be too confident. We do not need to go to Golgotha to kill you. We'll kill you right here. Just you try and I'll bury you in Jerusalem's dirt. Do not fear them. There are too many. We don't have enough troops. Be firm. We must get back to the fortress. Take some men and guard the prisoners. They mustn't be allowed to get out of your sight. You all should be sending fireballs! Why are you throwing just stones and guns? Consul Lentos, General. Send him in. I salute you, General. I'm at your disposal. Lentos, you are an excellent legionnaire. And faithful. Since the beginning of the Empire's war with Germany, you and Centurion Rufus have both always been by my side. Unfortunately, however, I have bad news for you. What news, General? It was reported that during the transportation of the man to be crucified, a crucifixion that I myself ordered, the prisoner escaped. Negligent, Lentos. Ignorant and negligent. It's not my fault. Those holy zealots were... What do you mean, holy zealots? In what way are they holy? Lentos, have you become one of those men who, at the crucial point of determining fate, remember holiness? Come tomorrow, will you tell me, a daughter or son of God, has appeared and invite people to pay homage? Lantos, a prisoner has escaped and Roman soldiers have been killed. My leadership and reputation has in the eyes of my legionnaires and my enemies been damaged due to this riot. You have been loyal, yet you have failed. 
I humbly apologize. Punish me as you see fit, sir. From among the prisoners in the fortress dungeon, you are to take five to Golgotha for crucifixion. Yes, General. Is somebody there? Who's there? Show yourself! What? You're... Uh, but you're supposed to be in... Golgotha. <laughs> What's the matter, your eminence? Your Jude has returned. <laughs> Are you really here? But, but you're supposed to have... But what's wrong? It looks like you're not happy to see me. Dear brother-in-law. How dare you talk to me about family? As you know, your family has disowned you. Better you go off and find your bandit hooligan friends. Banditry? That's a slander. And it suits you and your thieving friends in the Sanhedrin more than it suits us zealots. So you better watch yourself. Oh, no, now listen here. I don't want to fight with you. Now listen to me. You get off the roof of my house and go. And if you don't get off, I'll call the Romans to come and make you get off. This is my sister's house, too. Go ahead and call the Romans if you dare. Are you threatening me, you lowly zealot? Yes, I am, and I'll tell you one other thing. As I was on my way today to Golgotha, I decided to come and visit an old relative. Instead of being crucified. How do you like that, eh? And now in Jerusalem, all the Roman soldiers and informers are looking for me. If I'm going to be caught by the Romans again, you can be sure I'm not going alone. You understand me? But what are you saying? <laughs> Suppose they were to catch me. They would want me to tell them who it is I'm collaborating with. What might I say? I'm already so deep into it. I may just mention a few names. <laughs> Who would listen to a lowly thief like you? You're such an old fool. Don't you know? Know what? Well, General Pilate. Well, he hates you and your bigot friends. Even more than he hates the zealots. I'm surprised you didn't know it. So if you still want to, you can go ahead and call all the Roman soldiers you can find. But remember this. You will surely end up in the dungeons with me. You and me, together. Damn you, you lowly bastard. What milk were you fed with? The same milk as my sister, your wife. Enough nonsense. Will you hide me or not? Just suppose I had a lowly hick like you, right here in my house. Just suppose. Well? 
You shouldn't worry so much, brother-in-law. We zealots can do a lot of things. I'm called Jude the Zealot. I can rid you of any enemies you have. The blade of my dagger will come in handy if you want to get rid of any rival. Who knows? One of these days, I may bring you a hen with golden eggs. Well, you've thought enough. What is your answer? Will you give me shelter? All right. But you can stay only two days, all right? <laughs> all right. Two days is fine. See how easily I tamed you? Let's eat. I'm starving. By the way, where's my sister? Leia! Ah, it's me, Just you. keep quiet. If she wakes up and sees you here, we'll both be in trouble and homeless. Well, that's why I asked you to hide me. All right. Wait a minute. Such a nuisance in the middle of the night. Come on, beast. Here, help me. Come on. Come in here, animals. Come on. Go on. What about me? Where are you going? Sleep in there. I'll bring you some food. Sleep with the donkeys? Just for tonight. I'll think of something better tomorrow. Think well until tomorrow. Think of your bright future. Yes. Quiet those animals or your sister will wake up. I don't know their language. You should talk to them. What? I swear I have nothing. I'm very poor. Matthew, I beg you to exempt me. Take these coins. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Everyone knows you don't take tax from the needy. But if the Romans find out, they'll skin you alive. But they know that. I make up for it with the filthy rich. There is one of them now. Go on. Take him. Move. Today is Hananya's turn. He will make up for the tax of four or five of the poor. Good morning, Excellency Matthew. Right. And what a beautiful morning it is, when the master of Bait Saida pays his outstanding tax. Oh, there must be a mistake, Excellency. A mistake? You mean the fair tax men of Caesar Tiberius made a mistake? Oh, of course not. I mean that I paid my tax two months ago. So it is not possible that I owe any more. Your tax is every month. You have the money, Mr. Hananya. So you must pay. And yet the lazy pay no tax. Shall I call the soldiers? Is that what you'd like? Tell me. Fine. Please, take your tax, heathen. No wonder all the people in Galilee hate you. And now, so do I. Damn you, pagan. You're a filthy Roman servant! Damn you! Damn you! You're very stubborn. He's a Hebrew, just like you. Why do you serve those infidels? Infidels? I don't know anyone more human than them in this land. Do you prefer to blackmail your own people for the benefit of Rome? No, it's not blackmailing. It's collecting tax. 
And if I don't do it, someone else will. You're a man of business, so get a stand in Solomon's temple and earn a lot of money. It's a respectable job, and I'm certain you'd be better off. I'd rather serve those Romans, but not be indebted to the money changers. You're a non-believer, Matthew. There's a difference between a pagan and a Pharisee. Your priests and Pharisees do not let me into the temple because I collect tax for the Romans. They don't accept my testimony because I work for the Romans. I prefer to work for the Roman than be paid by the priests in Solomon's temple. There's no difference between the pious people and the Romans. They all think of their own benefit. Show me one pious man who isn't greedy. Matthew, the tax collector, stand up. I was right. You are Matthew. Well, yes. Come with me, Matthew. But my stand, the money. Leave them. Come. It is time for your release. Come with me. Master, we're going to have company. I wish he wouldn't come. He's Roman. There he is. His name's Rufus. His daughter's paralyzed. What's the matter? What's happened, sir? He's a Roman. Our enemy. He'll show us no mercy. Seems he wants to see the master. He's coming this way. I wonder, how can you judge this man so easily? He is a human like you. Every human is in need of mercy and benevolence. Who knows which of you is closer to God? Master, I've searched for you all through Judea, and I'd heard you'd come to Galilee, and I followed you. I have a request. It's not for myself. What is your request? Uh, Cornelia, my daughter. She's lying in the cart down there. She's been sick for a long time. I've spent my whole life for her. But she's now so weak. She can neither walk no move or talk. I don't know why. You really do not know? No, I really don't. Then I will tell you why. Almighty God has crippled your child. Because you oppress his servants. 
take me to her. Master, you need not go to her. Because I am a centurion, I command a hundred men. If I tell one of them to go, then they will. If I tell them to come, they will. One word from you will be sufficient. You have great faith, soldier. I swear to God before whom my soul stands. I have not witnessed such faith in all Judea. Your faith has healed your daughter. Excellency, might you help me? I'm a stranger in Nazareth. I know nobody here. I'm looking for someone who uh, can... They'll probably say he's hungry and looking for money. A liar, I'm sure. I think there's a misunderstanding. I'm not a beggar. And I have money. Well, that's different. I wish to ask if you know anything of Jesus, the son of Mary. God I know Almighty. what you are. You're an informer of Herod. Tell the truth. Do I look like it? Well, no. No. But why does everyone come asking us about the Son of Mary? Like who? People from all walks of life. From strangers like yourself to Herod's informers. I won't take much of your time. I just want to know what you know about Jesus, and the stories they tell. What stories? His birth, and about his relation to John the Baptist. Is it true the spirit of the martyred Baptist entered him? <laughs> <laughs> Young man, John the Baptist fasted, cried, and repented. Jesus socializes with publicans and culprits and goes from one city to another. That is Master Jonah of Egypt. He dies cloth. He might be able to help you. You should ask. He knows a lot about Jesus. Remember, a prophet may come from Rome, young man. But not from Nazareth. <laughs> Let's go. It's almost noon. So long. <laughs> 